and never try to enslave those who are free due to their helplessness, whether that enslaved is physical, uh, enslavement is physical, social, or economic. Then there is another aspect of maintaining peace. Allah Almighty commands, those who fear me and pray to me, they spend in prosperity and adversity. And those who suppress their anger and pardon men, and Allah loves those who do good. <coughs> Chapter 3, verse 135. Get into the habit of suppressing anger and forgiving others as this acts as a guarantee for peace in society. It is not easy to suppress anger and forgive people. That is why Allah the Almighty has said that if you, if you wish to develop your association with me and if you want to gain my player, then you will have to do good to others without expecting anything in return. Doing good means forgiving the uh, guilty despite their wrongdoing. Where in the beginning Allah says to spend this means uh, spend in the way of Allah for religious needs as well as for fulfilling the rights of the people. If you spend on the needy without their having to ask you, you will guarantee peace. Then we have been commanded to sustain peace because whereas we can suppress our anger and forgive temporarily and can also spend for the good of others and treat them with kindness now and then, it is very difficult to continue to do this good work in a steadfast manner. That is why Allah the Almighty says in the Holy Quran, and those who persevere in seeking the favor of their Lord and observe prayer and spend out of that which we have provided them secretly and openly and repel evil with good, it is these who shall have the best reward of the final abode. Chapter 13, verse 23. It is clear from these verses that one requires not only patience to do good and repel evil, but also steadfastness. And to achieve this, there is also a commandment to not only spend the money, but also share all that knowledge and utilize all the faculties that are required to spread goodness and stop all evil tendencies. Using all the resources that have been put at the discretion of the well-to-do, there is an injunction for both individuals and nations that the establishment of peace requires patience and consistency. It is not enough to stop evil, but it is also essential to do good works. If, if evil alone is suppressed, there will be a reaction. There are many who incite evildoers to believe that they have been wronged. But if after stopping the evil, all means are used for the improvement of the society, they will realize that the people who advocated doing good, uh, doing good works are really their friends and sympathizers who pointed the evil in the society and helped them to remove forward to, towards goodness. Such uh, to move forward towards goodness. Such uh, action helps to eliminate evil permanently from society. However, this reformation will neither be permanent nor will it help to establish peace if all the action is only to achieve vested personal interests. The Holy Quran teaches us that in order to maintain peace, it is essential to establish justice in society. Beside justice, if good is done in society in accordance with the need, it will help to create an environment of love and affection. I have deliberately used the word in accordance with the need because you will come across a person who is a habitual criminal and despite all efforts to reform him, he does not change his ways. It will be counterproductive to do good to him. In fact, in such cases, justice demands that he be punished so that the society can be saved from his harm. Because the real purpose is to create an environment of peace 
and at the same time protect the rights of everyone. It is this protection that provides peace to the society. The commandment in the Holy Quran is, Verily, Allah enjoins justice and doing, good of, doing of good to others and giving like kindred and forbids indecency and manifests evil, manifest evil and transgression. He admonishes you that you may take heed. Chapter 16, verse 91. This verse talk, uh, talks about three good and three evil deeds. The three good deeds are showing justice, doing of good to others, and giving like kindred. The three evils mentioned are exhibiting indecency, manifesting evil, and transgressing. Going into the details of these goods, uh, good and evil deeds, you will realize that the good deeds are the basics of establishing peace in a society and the evil, evils are the basics that lead to the destruction of social peace. Therefore, if we want to create peace in our society, then we must shun all evils, promote good deeds, and fulfill the rights of others selflessly. We must get rid of the poison of superiority complex. We must eliminate the distinction between superpower and the poor developing countries. We must get rid of all the national and racial project, uh, prejudices. In this regard, we will have to set very high targets, free of all prejudices, so that humanity can advance in doing good to each other. <clears throat> we may not agree on this, but the divides between East and West and North and South are more prominent. In fact, even today, the question of black and white is still alive and predominant in some countries. Does this situation provide any guarantee for peace of mind? I do not think so. Islam advises its believers, O ye people, fear your Lord who created you from a single soul and of its kind created its mate and from them twain spread many men and women. <clears throat> 